Wednesday, October 3rd, marked the official groundbreaking of the Florence Recreation Fields, a project that has been in the works for some time. It was about five years ago um, that we started looking at the field, and about three years ago where we started all the meetings, and to get to this point, it is just incredible. The need for more parkland has existed for years, but finding a location made it getting any project off the ground difficult. We had a shortage of, of fields in the city for recreation use, so this really uh, comes at an opportune time. We've been looking for fields for probably 25 years. Um, the problem with Northampton, as great as city is, is not a lot of land that's available. This is always sort of a, a wild dream that this property here would become available, and uh, when it did three years ago, it was just like I said, a dream come true. It's going to be uh, green, it's going to be walkable, bikeable, uh, and you know we're promoting, I think, part of Northampton's overall commitment to sustainability um, by creating recreational opportunities for our citizens. The project includes five multi-purpose and two baseball fields, a concession and bathroom facility, new walkways, parking, and a play structure. But that's not all. In addition, the project works to preserve the Bean Allard Farm as agricultural. We knew that this land had always been under a plow, and I was, I didn't care whose tractor was pulling the plow. I didn't care. I just wanted this to be under a plow, and if it meant part of it had to be recreation and part had to be farm, so be it, as long as it was not a huge housing complex, which is what we were really nervous. We were afraid of that. So this was just perfect. This went along very well, and a lot of people put a lot of time into this and, uh, and they can be very proud of what they've done here. We're very glad that the city had the, had the foresight to buy this land and purchase it and preserve it for generations of Northampton residents. The cost of the project is being covered with the help of a state grant. It's called a park grant um, for recreational projects like this. Um, but the larger amount was really from the Community Preservation Act dollars, CPA dollars. The project is using 1.4 million community preservation dollars. On top of parkland and agricultural preservation, the project has established community gardens on Meadow Street. Hat tip to Grow Food Northampton because they're the nonprofit group that's been a big driver in a lot of the agricultural stuff, and they really were a driver behind creating those. Before the project was finalized, the city council created a task force that sought input from recreation, preservation, agriculture, and neighborhood representatives. People got a lot of uh, gave a lot of input, and I think the recreation department has really worked to try to develop the plans. You'll notice um, the fields have a lot of natural screening around them with plantings and so they've made an effort to make sure that it it sits well on the land here and will and will fit in well with the neighborhood. Nobody ever said that this wasn't a worthy cause which was a good thing and we held a lot of meetings to bring everybody on board. Though the heavy machinery is out it will still be a while before the fields are open to the public. The goal is to have this field completely finished by July 1st of next year. We'll then have to sit and grow and we might get on part of it the following year in, in 2014. This is all about kids. This is about kids learning people skill, people skills on a ball field, competition. Uh, they learn to win and lose gracefully. It's so exciting to see everybody come together for this and, and to actually be here and all the different parts of our community who came together to make this possible is, has just been phenomenal and amazing. The community can be extremely proud of this and this really does. This has the potential to be one of the treasured assets in the city, maybe even in this part of the state. They will be fundraising for the construction of a playground and pavilion soon. We did a 5k race last year that raised some money for it and we're going to start doing some other kind of events. We have it, we're going to be doing the 5k again in the spring and we'll be doing um, direct appeals to people in the community and then some other you know fun events once we get things rolling more here. We're very fortunate to have received the money that we have, but we're not done. <laughs>